All right, everybody. So here is a tutorial on how to make your first mod, basically. So once again, you go to your to the modding Discord. And you go to Mod Tools Download. You go to this website. I already have it open. Um, if you're trying to make a mod, you have to download both of these. Um, yeah, but I went over how this works in my last tutorial. But in this case, you download the editor. So once you have the editor downloaded. I clear this crap up. Um, so you have the editor downloaded. You will have it in a zip file. You'll extract it to wherever you want. In this, in this case, it's on my desktop. Click on it. You click the exe. Now, when the exe comes up the first time, it will ask you to choose your game exe, which normally will be stored in local disk, program files 86, origin games. You'll have Battlefront 2 and you'll have an EXE. In my case, it's on my second hard drive, so it's wherever my Origin Games directory is. And there it is. You'll click that, and then it will probably take like 10 minutes for it to load up the first time. And then you have this, which is Frosty. Um, I'm not going to go over what any of this does, really. Um, that's what we have the Discord for and the mentors. So if you want, like, you know, Answers to hard questions. Do at mentors, which actually isn't showing up as a tag, but oh, because it's called something else now. So right now it's called Sedge. Yeah, that's the mentors right now. Um, so you'll do that if you want to have more details on what each one of these does. But for right now, we'll just do a simple texture swap. And by that, we'll go into the root characters folder. We'll go into heroes. We'll go into Boba Fett. Uh, Boba Fett 01. And then texture. In general, um, I'm not going to go over what all these do, but in general, the one that has, you know, just the diffuse on it, um, which is, you know, the base colors for everything, is on the underscore CS file. So you see this. Um, to import a new texture, you will, you will click import. And then, um, once again, I'll go over in a different tutorial how to format your Photoshop file correctly or GIMP, whatever you're using. Uh, so you get your texture, uh, you click on it, and you click open. And there it is. It doesn't have to be a texture import, of course, for a mod. You can do whatever you want inside Frosty. It's the same process. So once you have this, you'll click Launch. And if you have Origin open, it will launch your game. See if your mod works. If it does work, you're good. Now, you can save your project file if you want. Saving your project file basically um, is just it saves all the work that you've done inside of the editor. Uh, you can't put it inside the mod manager. It's just a file for you to have. Basically, if you want to open a project, you'll go to File, Open, and then you go to wherever your project is stored. Um, here's this other project that I have. And conveniently, when you load it up, it just shows the files that you've changed. Um, you can turn that off by clicking this checkbox that says Show Only Modified. You have everything there. So, um, oh, this is the new project button, which basically just resets all your progress, so it's an easy way to do that. Um, so we'll go back to doing what I was just doing. I'll import a texture of a Boba Fett. Um, you see it's kind of transparent here. If you want to get rid of that, click the A up here, which disables the alpha. Um, we'll go back to importing this. All right, you got that. And to turn this into a mod, you go to File, Export to Mod. Uh, we'll call this um, Mod Tuts Author. Put my name, category. Doesn't matter. Uh, to see how this translates into the manager itself, the title is there. Author goes underneath by Mulu. Um, category. I don't know where the heck is. To be honest, I think it's probably here. Um, version number, this is actually kind of important, because if, for example, this is version 1.0, if I made a mod with the exact same title, but then called it, for example, um, 0 0.5, if I, 
if I dragged this mod into the mod manager, the one that was already here that is a later, that is a bigger number, would overwrite it. So you want to make sure that your float or your integer or whatever is bigger. So 2.0. Um, that's only if your mod title is the same. So if you're updating your mod or whatever. Um, icons the icon can be no bigger than a 128 by 128 sized uh, PNG um, I have a couple of those so I'll just go in there and let's choose this one um, screenshots I think they can be no bigger than 1080p they might be able to be 1440p don't quote me on that and those go here um, the icon goes there of course Screenshots and description go in this little uh, big black box. <laughs> it's not little, it's big. It's huge. Um, so then, yeah, you have your mod. Uh, you click save. In this case, I will save it on my desktop even though it's very messy. And then we'll call the mod file um, test. Save it as a FB mod. There's no other option really. Um, close all this and so you have um, there should be a test there should be a .fb mod file and a .archive file you should have both these files now create a new folder I'll call it test again and you'll play you'll just keep it there for a second and then you open up for example 7-zip um, you could probably do this with WinRAR or whatever but I use 7-zip and then you click pack files and then on your desktop you'll see these two and you'll select both of them with control click um, get these two files oh, that's the wrong one <laughs> the desktop test fumod test archive pack save to folder and then you'll go into test I'll just save it in here so it's easily Findable, so that's done. There should be a zip file here. I'll rename it again <laughs> to test. Alright, this is your mod. That is. And then, if you watch my last tutorial, you'll know that just dragging the zip onto the mod manager will load your mod. And that's how you do that. Um, right now, the Nexus Mods page is up for you to post your mods, but usually I just use Mediafire. And then put the media fire link into one of these channels. Um, yeah, so you just do that, and congratulations, you have made your first mod that <laughs> hopefully has screenshots and descriptions here. Looks super nice. The correct format for posting your mods. These are all bad examples. This is a good example. Um, I believe it's in rules. Yeah. This is the correct format, so copy that, paste it in some notepad somewhere, and then format your mod right. And yeah, that's how you make your first mod.